everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids, and what you're seeing here is some HD video footage from the Motorola Razr HD. I'm actually standing behind the smartphone at the moment, and now I'm just going to come into shot. And the reason I did that is because I wanted just to show you what the audio quality was like with me being a little bit nearer to the Razr HD. When you're standing right behind the Razr HD, you do actually get better quality audio. I think the microphone certainly does pick up the echoing effect when you're in a larger space, such as I am now in my studio. Now I had planned to take the Razer HD out and about so you could get to see some outdoor video footage, but the great British weather got the better of us yet again, and I didn't see any point in getting absolutely drenched and also showing you what would have been really dull and overcast video footage. It wouldn't have done the Motorola Razer HD any good at all or any favors. You would have thought it was a really poor performer because the weather is just terrible. But anyway, I'm in my studio. I haven't got my main studio lights on. Normally I would have a light place sort of to the left of me and a light place to the right of me and very bright studio lights. But for the purpose of this video, so you get to see how this works in sort of real world conditions, I've just put an overhead light on. So it's just about a equivalent of about a 50 to 60 watt bulb uh, illuminating the studio at the moment. Now, I would really like to hear your comments about what you think of both the video and the audio quality on the Razer HD. Leave them in the comments section below. Thank you very much for liking this video. Please do stay tuned to the Geek and Noise channel because apart from my unboxing that's linked underneath this video, I'm also going to be doing a benchmark test and a full review. So thanks very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.